studio audience. Hi, guys. Hey, wow. oh, there you are, hey, Ralph. Good, good. I'm glad we're all here. Um, okay. Well, now that everyone is here, I just wanted to say that I spoke to Louise this afternoon, and, well, she's not coming tonight. Her doctor recommended that she take it a little easy, you know, since the baby is due any day now. Oh. <laughs> She has so much to look forward to. I remember the morning after my baby was born. The intern came in, cranked up my bed. <laughs> oh, I just couldn't wait to get that little bundle of joy under the covers of me and just kiss him all over. <laughs> but he had other patients he had to take care of. Yeah, well, uh, anyhow, Louise did express every confidence that we could carry on without her. Is it too soon to take a break? Oh, oh, wait, 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 I almost forgot. Um, Louise mentioned that the community center is sponsoring something called High Society Night. It's a dance for all the groups that meet here. Oh, wow. uh, actually, I can't make it that night. She didn't say what night it is. It's the 11th. Nope, can't make it. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm... lying. <laughs> I can go. I, I just, I just don't want to. Why not? I'm afraid. What are you afraid of, Ralphie? Everything. <laughs> no, no, Ralph. Uh, I think what Kirk means is, what specifically are you afraid of? Uh, the heights, crowds, open places, closed places, snakes, the pulp. <laughs> no, Ralph. Ralph. But the saying is, what specifically about this day? The pope. <laughs> yeah, it's called papaphobia. <laughs> Well, listen, R R Ralph, the Pope is busy. He won't make it, believe me. Sure, him you believe. Okay. Ralph, now you say that you're afraid of everything. Now, is it possible that you're afraid of fear itself? That, too. It's called phobophobia. Ralph, Ralph, what about this dance is causing you anxiety? Well, there's this woman that I've sort of been admiring from afar, and, uh... I'm afraid she's gonna be at the dance. <laughs> well, lay it on us, Ralphie. Who is this bright, elusive butterfly of love? <laughs> uh, she teaches one of the art classes here at the community center. But, Kirk, I, I, I would rather not mention any names. Barbara Ralston? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I think we have a winner. Hey, Ralph, that is great. You're gonna get a chance to meet her. No, but what's the point of going? I, I can't talk to her. I can't talk to women. I, I, I freeze. Oh, now come on, Ralph. I know that you're a little <laughs> uncomfortable with women, but I... No, I mean it. I, I, I freeze up. I find trying to make conversation with women to be the most incredibly painful experience. You know what I find painful? Frying bacon in the nude. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Gilbert. Then we got a microwave, and all the magic went out of our marriage. <laughs> Ralphie, are you telling us that you always freeze when you're out with a woman? No. Sometimes I destroy things. Oh, come on, Ralph. What have you ever destroyed? A 74 Dotson, a clarinet, three plate glass windows, a photo mat. <laughs> Ralph. Well, actually, the, the Dotson and the photo mat were the same date. Ralph, 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 listen, listen. I tell you what. What if we help you prepare for this uh, dance? You know, like coaching. Yeah, mm, you say, yeah sure. That's a great idea. Uh, you, you would do that for me? You bet sure. we would, Ralphie. I'm going to start right now. Wardrobe is everything. Dress like me, Ralph, and you cannot go wrong. God, do you really think that would get her interested? There's a man in my neighborhood who dresses like her. He's constantly surrounded by girls. Of course, he's a pimp. Kirk, this is a black tie affair. Ralph is going to have to rent a tuxedo. Yeah, and we're going to have to find someone to teach him how to dance. Uh, no, no, I, I, I know how to dance. 
My mother used to make me take lessons with my cousin Hillary. What I don't know how to do is talk to women. Oh, nonsense. Come on, Ralph. There's nothing to it. Come here. Uh, now, pretend that I'm Barbara, okay? We'll have a conversation right now, huh? <clears throat> Hi, Ralph. Hello. You know, I've seen you around the community center, and I think I'd really like to get to know you. No kidding. Yep, and, and here we are, and I'm getting to know you, and I think you're really nice. Well, I think you're really nice, too. <laughs> See, there, there you, you go. go. Yeah. It's easy. There's nothing to be afraid of. Well, I, I, I don't think I'm afraid anymore. <laughs> now, can you do the Pope? <laughs> oh, who am I kidding? It's easy to talk to you because you're a friend. Besides, you're not like Barbara at all. I understand, Ralph. She's young and sexy. All right, Ralph. <laughs> she really knows how to dress. Sean? Yes, uh, let, me, let me take a shot at this. Ralph, Ralph. Do you say you freeze around women? Well, believe it or not, I used to be the same way. But uh, my dad gave me a tip. If you can't think of what to say, just repeat what your date says only. Always include the word more. More? Yeah, she says, the orchestra is wonderful. You say, the orchestra is more than wonderful. Okay? Okay. Okay. Uh, mmm, these hors d'oeuvres are delicious. Mmm. <laughs> these hors d'oeuvres are more than delicious. <laughs> I have to go to the bathroom. I more than have to go to the bathroom. I think we've got our work cut out for us. More than cut out for us. Why, they really fixed this place up great. Everything looks so elegant. Yeah. Everyone looks like they've stepped out of a Fred Astaire movie. <laughs> What is that, Kirk? Which what? It's called Stallion Plus, John. Beg your pardon? It's got pheromones in it. Pheromones? Yeah, pheromones. They've been empirically proven in scientific studies to attract members of the opposite sex. Where did you obtain this technical information? Cycle Sluts magazine. You know... You must be an idiot if you think that stuff is going to work. Oh, well, certainly not on you, Madam Frigidaire. <laughs> See, it says right here, ineffective at sub-zero temperatures. <laughs> hey, hey, there's Ralph. 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 Hey, Ralph, over here. Ralphie, Ralph. Ralph. you made it. Oh, you look <laughs> great. I feel great. You're going to do fine. I'm going to do more than fine. <laughs> There she is. I'm out of here. Go, go, go. Come on. You don't mean that. Come on, Ralph. You said you were going to try. Yeah, but what if I ask her to dance and... Whoa, 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 whoa. Ralphie, Ralphie, Ralphie. Remember what I told you? What? It doesn't matter what she says. Right. Who cares if she rejects me? Right. Who cares what she thinks? Right. She's probably a cold, selfish bitch anyway. Exactly. <laughs> Go. Go on. No! No, 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 the woman's a mess. What'd I ever see in her? Oh, come on. <laughs> Just go over and ask her to dance. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? She'll scream at you. She'll slap you in the face a couple times, knee you in the groin, spit on you. Make it... You learn to live with it. <laughs> Kirk, no one is going to do anything like that to Ralph. Oh, of course not. You're right. You're right. I'm going to...
to be a man and go. <laughs> Will you come with me? No, 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 no. Come on. We're going to be right here rooting for you. Now just follow. Go on. He's going to do it. He's really going to do it. I am really proud of our Ralphie. This isn't easy for him. This is the biggest step of his life. As soon as he strikes out, I'm all over that babe like fur on a weasel. Come on. Come on. At least he made it this far. I think we should have insisted on dance lessons. Oh, well, Kate said he knew how to dance. Oh, come on, Kate. Think about it. Ralph, dancing? Everybody's got hidden talents. Some people are uh, dancers, other people are. Uh... <laughs> Lovers. <laughs> Believe me, Kay, one night with me, you would never look at another man. You're right. I put my eyes out. <laughs> Just look at them. They haven't even spoken to each other. Who needs to speak when you can dance like that? You know, you are a very mysterious man. <laughs> and I like that. He's scoring. <laughs> can you believe that? Ralphie is actually scoring. And for the rest of us, it's strikeout city. Has anyone ever told you you are a fantastic dancer? Another whiff. Kirk, ever since we got here, you've been making me sniff you. Would you give it a rest, Kirk, please? Well, anyway, I don't know why I thought this stuff would ever work on Princess Permafrost. Wait a second. What? What? I want you. I need you. What? I have to have you. Oh, there is a God. Wait! Uh, must be wearing off. Speak for yourself, Kate. Kirk. What? <clears throat> I want you. I need you. I must have you. All right, you guys. I get the point. Stuff doesn't work, and I got ripped off. 
And all I gotta do is figure out what I'm gonna do with seven cases of this crap. I'll be right back. Oh, Ralph. Hi, guys. Oh, Ralph, you were doing great out there. Oh, yeah, and Barbara was loving you. Yeah, she's putty in my hands. <laughs> so what am I supposed to do now? What do you mean? Well, she wants me to take her back to her place. She... All right, Ralph. No, that's not all right. She's only interested in one thing, and I'm not sure I'm ready. Oh, now, aren't you jumping to conclusions? No, she said as soon as we get back to her apartment, she expects us to talk. <laughs> At the T word. <laughs> now, remember, you guys, you said you'd be there for me. Well, let's get a move on. <laughs> Wait a minute. What are you talking about? I'm not going there alone. Oh, come on, Ralph. We got you this far. You're a big boy. We're not going to take you by the hand and take you home to the apartment of a woman we've never even met. You don't listen to me. You got me into this. If you don't come with me now, I promise I will make your life a living hell. <laughs> okay, Ralph. Would you care to join us, Kate? <laughs> I'm certainly glad you could all make it back here. <clears throat> well, uh, we came to the dance together, and Ralph didn't feel uh, that he could leave us. That's the way he is. He's so considerate. Oh, he's the most considerate man I've ever met. Uh -huh. Oh, I could sense that about you, Ralph. Why don't you all sit down, and I'll get us something to eat. Uh -huh. <clears throat> okay, we got you here. I'm starting to feel a little awkward, you know? I mean, what if things go great between you and her? I think we should leave. No, 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 don't, 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 don't. Come on, Ralph. If I start to feel okay, I'll give you a signal, and, and, and then you can go. What kind of a signal? Oh, I, I, I don't know. Uh, I saw this in a movie. How did it go? Uh... Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Look, Ralph, Ralph, don't make any crow noises, okay? <laughs> it was an owl. <laughs> <laughs> when you want us to leave, all you have to do is say, Oh, my, look at the time. Here you go. I found some crackers and cheese. I hope it'll be all right. Oh, that looks lovely. lovely. Yes. Wasn't tonight romantic? I mean, it was just like being in a Hollywood musical. <laughs> oh, yeah. As a matter of fact, Ralph was just saying he wishes there was some way we could all have a little of this romantic spirit in our everyday lives. Oh, well, Ralph, that's lovely. <laughs> I have a nice bottle of wine that will go with that, and why doesn't someone make a fire? Oh, uh, Ralph will do it. You know, he always says that sitting in front of an open fire is like looking into the soul of nature. Oh, Ralph, where have you been all my life? <laughs> you know, you're right. This is a piece of cake. <laughs> Ralph, light the fire. A fire? Come on, it's all set up, just like, you know, atmosphere. Women like that, right? Yeah. Uh, you know, John, she's getting the wine, and he's lighting the fire. I really don't think we're needed anymore. Right. Uh, uh, good night, Ralph. Uh, no, 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 you can't leave now. You've got her in the palm of my hand. Okay, okay. <laughs> and the minute you think you've got things under control, remember the signal. Oh, my, look at the time. I found a nice Cabernet. Oh, a little wine. Well, wow, this is really your territory. <laughs> I'm sure Ralph would like to do the honors. Uh, yes, did you know that Ralph is very knowledgeable about wines? Well, I'm sure he is. I mean, anyone who dresses and dances the way he does is obviously a man of sophistication. Oh, yes. Ralph knows all about wine, especially when to stop pouring. Stop pouring, Ralph! Oh, 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 no! You're so sorry! Oh, quick! There's some club soda in the kitchen! Which Ralph would be glad to get? <laughs> you know, this happens to me all the time. Uh, Little club soda will get that right it's out. It's all right, actually. I mean, he'll probably come out. <laughs> Don't give it another thought. <laughs> Let's look on the bright side. This evening has no place to go but up. The flu! What? Oh, my God, you forgot to open the flu in the fireplace! <coughs> this is awful! Okay, okay, 
It's just a little smoke. You don't have to make it sound like a disaster. <laughs> she took it fairly well. <laughs> yeah, and the neighbors were pretty understanding, too. <laughs> you know, I never realized that when the sprinklers go off in one apartment, they go off in all the apartments. <laughs> Poor Ralph. He wanted to impress us so much. Oh, maybe he would have done better without us. Well, he couldn't have done any worse. <laughs> I have to tell you guys, that was the best date I ever had in my life. Well, you know, all things considered. Do you think it's too soon to call her? I'd wait for the fireman to leave, Ralph. You're right. You're right. You know, you guys are great. I really appreciate your help. Now, I want to do something nice for you. I'm going to make us a pot of tea. I just have to light the stove. I already turned on the gas. No! <laughs> Next on L.A. Law, Can Abby Kill to Save Her Own Life? Saturday, great comedy starts with 227 and guests run DMC, followed by Amen. On the Golden Girls, Dorothy's got a volley of practical jokes going with an old tennis rival. Then stick your nose into Empty Nest as Harry plays Cyrano. 